What's up traders? Uh, Snipe trading here mm. with another live analysis on a trade I did this morning on OGI. Um, but before I get started, um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button um, to see more of these videos. So in this video, um, it's a long play and um, I'll play this in 2x speed. Uh, it was a 15 minute trade. And here we go. I saw this um, pattern here and there's a long, I think shorts piled in there. Uh, I was watching this because it had like a nice consolidation in the first 15 minutes. I uh, started out by drawing this flag line and just watching this level if it starts to hold a higher low here or if it starts to roll over. Um, but I'm more interested in a long term position if it starts to curl and create this flag break. So it's been stalling a little bit here on this 158 level. You can see the ask is stacking up and it's starting to create that um, higher low. So I started to um, enter 5,000 shares on this um, dip hold. So right now 158, we don't know if this is going to be a higher high or if this is going to break a prior support there on 158. So here you can see I started to add 5,000 more shares. So I'm up 10,000 shares. With my stop at 158 level. Um, occasionally I will downsize if I feel there's weakness on the level two, just to minimize my risk further. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in this 161, 162, and then 163 level. So you can see I downsized there um, just to de-risk. You can see now it's forming a little inverted cup and handle. So I'm not sure if it'll break this 158. So I downsized. And once this 158 starts to base, um, this is where I feel a little bit more confident that 158 is the support uh, for this next higher low. And you, you will see that the ass is thinning out in a bit and I will start to re-add those position back on. So now I'm up 10,000 shares uh, and now you can uh, see closer that it's warming this flag and then 161 is the break uh, once you get like a higher low around this 160 area. So you can see 161 is thinning out. I have uh, my hands on the trigger to add additional shares if it's going to break high of day at 162, 163 level. So while I'm trading this, I'm looking at the level two uh, most of the time, see if these 162 starts to thin out and, you know, green on the tape, um, on the time and cells here. So 
So I'm going to speed it up a little bit more here. Um, mm -hmm. So you can see the bid is starting to come up um, and the ass is thinning. So you'll see I start to, you know, jumping around between my um, buy more button or stopping out some. So there's the 162 break. I added 10,000 more shares. I'm at 20,000 shares. And I'm going to add another 10,000 shares on this one high day break of 163. So now I have 30,000 shares there. Um, and it broke high days. So I'm waiting to see if volume picks up around this area uh, through high days. Pre-market high is also this purple line at 165. Uh, that's the pre-market high. So I'm also waiting if um, we'll get a breakthrough pre-market highs as well. So relatively the volume wasn't, you know, that great. Um, it was pretty much at opening opening volume. So relatively speaking, it isn't a high volume breakout, um, but I'm willing to start you know, selling some shares around this area. You can see now I pushed through pre-market highs of 166 there. So I'm trying to be patient, see if, you know, other buyers or other traders starting to see this on their scanners and start buying it up. But definitely it's not a buy here for me, it's a sell. So, so you can see I sized down to um, sold 10,000 shares there um, just to de-risk a little. And I have some orders out at 166. Speed it up just a little bit more here, 3x speed. So I saw a little bit more, uh, start to feel weak. And once this one minute, 98, one minute, 90 EMA start to catch up, um, I'll re add a little bit of my position. So 166 here, I'm going to re-add 10,000 shares for this next high of day break. And here I'm starting to sell on the 167 and I think 168 once it start breaking here. But this was a very slow mover. You can see volume is um, dying down a little bit and relatively speaking, it wasn't you know, a huge breakout. So I felt like this, you know, move is a little bit extended and you got the high 168 there and it's kind of stalled. So I'm slowly trying to scale out here up around this 167, 168 area, as you can see. Um, I try putting a few orders out at one, you know, a thousand dollar increments up to 172, uh, 169, 167, just in case you get a little push and then, um, flush back down. But here I saw is weak. I just click button now to get rid of all my position and, um, I'm all out. 
on my trade. So up a thousand one hundred sixty-three mm -hmm. in fifteen minutes here. Um, took the breakout, and like I mentioned in most of my trades, I usually take it on the first move if it starts to hold and make another leg up. I will take that. So I'm just going to fast forward uh, a little bit here just to see how it plays out. And it actually ends up going back down to 162s um, throughout the end of the session. Um, so it started at 162s and then it started going back to high days shortly after. Um, but one um, nice trade there. 1,100 on that trade on OGI and just scanning through other tickers throughout the day. All right. So if you, you know, like, like these videos, be sure to hit the subscribe and like button and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.